Well, moving on now to new details in that tragic Sunday hike in the South Bay. A mother hiking with her son and his Boy Scout troop killed after a tree fell on her this morning. It happened at about 10 a.m. at Rancho San Antonio County Park in the Cupertino Los Altos area. ABC 7 News reporter J.R. Stone spent the afternoon there and has more. Oh, that's terrible. I would never think it's possible. South Bay hikers in a bit of shock Sunday after learning that a woman died when a tree fell on her here at Rancho San Antonio County Park on the Stephen E. Abors Trail. It's a terrible tragedy. I heard she was with her husband and son, so it's a horrible tragedy. Emergency crews used these ATVs to get the hiker who is on the trail three miles from this location. In fact, those with the Boy Scouts of America confirm the woman who died was a parent of a scout participating in a planned hike. Fire crews say the call came in just after 10 Sunday morning. Bystanders attempted to remove the tree and they were unsuccessful. When our firefighters arrived on scene, they were able to extricate the patient from under the tree. They attempted life-saving measures, but they were unsuccessful as well. Hikers say it's concerning to hear this, but not the first time a tree has come down recently in this park. Less than two weeks ago, a small tree fell on a nearby bridge. That situation, though, pales in comparison to what happened Sunday. Well, it's really pretty shocking. I've been hiking this for 20 years with my son, and uh, they keep this park is really awesome. I mean, they're constantly trimming the trees, constantly taking care of it. I feel really bad that that happened and that for her family. I think most people are just enjoying the flora and fauna of the park and not really paying attention to, you know, looking up and saying, oh, that tree's at a bad angle. Maybe I should, you know, go somewhere else or yeah. be more careful. But uh, yeah, it's a tragedy. It's a horrible tragedy. The trail where this happened is now closed off to the public. As for family members, they are heartbroken over what happened, telling me they're still trying to process all of this. In the South Bay, J.R. Stone, ABC 7 News.